Hey guys, if you want to know more about writing nice lyrics and finding nice rhymes, then this is most likely for you. In this video, I will be talking about sources for inspiration, vocabulary and rhyming, of course. But I don't want to be rude, let me introduce myself. My name is Molle and I'm a German rapper, singer, songwriter. And of course, if you would like to check out my music, you'll find it on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, and so on and so forth. But let's get started. Let's talk about inspiration first. For me, there are like three basic sources of inspiration, which is um, life itself, uh, the beat itself, and being bored. <laughs> Let's start with life itself, okay? So it's watch, listen, talk, and read. So this means opening yourself up and really sense what's going on around you, what's going on in the world, and what's going on also within yourself. So this means by being sensitive about that, you kind of absorb life and take this really as a hot source for uh, inspiration. And you will be amazed by how many topics you will find by just checking out what's going on around you. Um, and talking about lists, um, I really want to highlight that, at least for me, um, it's really often that I talk to someone or I have an idea, but I don't have time to write at that exact moment. So what I do is I have a list, it's like Google Sheets, um, and I write down the topics, okay? So let's talk about my second source for inspiration. Which is the beat, really? I mean, producers and beat makers, they name their beat, right? So <laughs> the name of the beat can give direction or also already be the topic for your song. Um, but more often, at least for me, it's that I really dig the vibe of the beat and I either start writing immediately because I just immediately know um, what I want to write about or I dig the vibe and it's like, okay, it's like a chilled kind of beat or I don't know, some up-tempo thing, and I just check my list, which I mentioned before, um, and try to match the beat with the topic. And again, um, I do not always have the time to write immediately, so also here is um, that I match the topic with the beat, and when then when I find the time, I will start to write. Okay, third source for inspiration, uh, being bored. And this just means that when I'm sitting on the toilet or waiting for a train or being in the train, I'm trying to make the best out of my time. So um, sometimes I just start writing down rhymes or complete lines. And this, of course, can then lead um, to a topic. Or, um, which is very often the case, is that I have my list of topics um, a matching beat to it. And when I'm in the mood um, for writing, I just you know, take the list of rhymes and lines I already have like a matching uh, piece of the puzzle. And that's how I create my songs. So that was the inspiration part. Now let's talk about vocabulary, okay? Why do I want to do this? Because the words you know are like a treasure. And the more words you know, the more able you will be to express yourself in so many different ways. Let me give you an example. You could say, I don't know what to do. Or you could say, against all overwhelming odds, I'm lost within my own thoughts. Or you could say, I'm in the middle of an intersection with no signs for direction. So you see is, if you expand your vocabulary, you will not only be able to express yourself in many ways, but it's also that you can start expressing yourself by talking in pictures. And this really gives a nice spice um, for songwriting and makes it very, very, very special, at least for me. Okay, so we talked about inspiration and we talked about vocabulary. Now let's talk about rhyming, my favorite. Um, most people think that rhyming is something like shy, why, lie, by, and so on and so forth. And of course, that's also rhyming, but um, for me, rhyming is more special when you try to find rhymes that go over more than one syllable. Let me give you an example. Renegade, penetrate, lemonade, since the age, never late, and so on and so forth. Um, so by trying to find rhymes that go over more than one syllable, 
you automatically challenge yourself and also train your vocabulary, right? Secondly, you might heard that not, that not all words really, 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 really match. So let's take since the age and renegade. Um, but if you use phonetics and change the sound of the words just a little bit, you will find even more rhymes. Let me give you another example. Take house, bros, about and no. They don't match at all. But if you say something like, I'm in my house, chilling with my bros, you don't even know what this is all about. It's changing the sound and it will match. So that's phonetics. Now, let's spice this up a little bit. Earlier, when we talked about vocabulary, I mentioned that um, by talking in pictures, songwriting becomes very special. There are two more things which make songwriting very special, at least for me. Um, <laughs> It's uh, first of all, it's double meaning, which could be something like um, this is food for thoughts. You do the dishes, which is a line from Jay-Z. So he says something which is even talking in pictures, but it means so many different things. Right. Um, and then the ne next thing would be homophone words, which are like words that sound alike and um, which could be um, blessed for me and blessed for me or acquire and acquire or another Jay-Z line where he says, I'm not a businessman, I'm the business man. <laughs> so actually what I really want to say is that if you start um, writing and making pictures with your words um, if you use homophone words if you don't limit yourself to to one syllable when you rhyme songwriting becomes so special and so 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 much fun especially if you have a nice topic to write about so Thank you very much for watching. Um, please feel free to leave a comment um, how you write your songs, what inspires you. And of course, don't forget um, to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And last but definitely not least, um, this is the first of a couple of videos. So stay tuned, subscribe for the next upcoming videos. Bye bye.